Hello and welcome. I'm Nefo42 and this is uh, SketchUp Design or SketchUp Make, sorry. Um, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a dice or a die, however you say it in your language or country. Um, so yeah, first we want to remove this guy. Uh, I forget his name, Steve or whatever it is. Remove him. Uh, we want to create a square. So go into the corner. We'll drag it out. Um, we'll say one meter comma one meter enter that's a one meter by one meter square there we have I'm going to drag it up I'm going to say one meter enter and now we have a square cube dice um, if you middle mouse click you can just kind of rotate around it or you can also use the camera up here uh, and with the camera views up here you can choose the different sides like in most uh, other conventional um, 3D design programs you can use it that way to, to, to pick a face to use um, I'm not sure if there's a way to actually embed that into here like in the other ones like you just click up here and you can choose it to be front, back, up, uh, top, bottom, all that kind of stuff um, but I'll find that out later on when I get more, more in depth with the, uh, with the software um, I'm kind of teaching you as I'm learning, so it's uh, it's quite that's well, quite interesting. Maybe we're two point perspective. No, I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's not, not do that. Oh god, I lost it now. Okay, yeah. So you can go top. You can go to front, which is what we'll do. Um, and now to well, part part one of the of the dice. We need to mark where the holes would technically sit. Sorry, fine. I'm professional. Um, and with uh, we do that with the tape measure tool. So we go to the middle, we drag down, and we want to make the holes at 0 0.2 meters, and then also at 0 0.5 meters, and also at 0 0.8 meters. Um, now I know what you're thinking, this is a pretty big dice. And it's true, it is a pretty big dice. Um, but that's fine, that doesn't matter. Uh, you can make the dice how, however big you want it to be. Uh, so you drag the center, uh, you want to do it 0.2 meters. Uh, do it again the other way, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meters. And I mean, you can just drag it out until you the thing pops up and you say, okay, 0.5. 0.8 and there you go you got the the thing the same anyway um, but yeah I was just showing you using the the number input thing at the bottom because it's quite useful sometimes um, yeah so from here uh, you need to do this for all sides so I'll be back once I have done that on all sides welcome back okay this time I have um, added to all of the sides um, the the lines now, with the circle tool, which you select from here, but you can press C, I believe, as it said there. Let's see, press R, let's go to rectangle tool. Press it. C, circle. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, change it. Um, you want to click on here like this and then drag out. And then you can do 0 0.08 meters. And then you have a circle there. And that'd be side one. Um, as far as I remember, all sides add up to seven. So we go to the back side here. Then we drag out another 0 0.08 meters. And then keep going until you have all of the uh, all of the ones for this. I'm just going to continue to go. Ah, okay, and then you can use the push pull tool here to push the circles back, and you want to do it back. Oh. If you push it any any distance back, you can just type in 0 0.04 meters. 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 0 0.04 
meters and we're gonna put it back that far 0.04 meters and then just keep going until you get to the end nearly done and then you can hold middle mouse and you can rotate around and you can see all of this all of the uh, all of the six is indented properly and then you go around to the other side do the one again push that back 0.04 meters and then that's one side done well two sides done technically um, out of the six um, so then you, yeah you just rinse and repeat that with all the other ones and get that up to scratch um, so we'd say we want four on the top you can also use the camera go back here and go top and you can see this now um, so yeah you want to draw a draw the four in here 0 0.08 meters uh, and this is a very big dice but drawing it in this size, we can shrink the entire thing down later. And I'll show you how to do that in another video um, in the future. And obviously push pull back. Oh, not four meters. And you can see it's fairly easy. Um, Uh, just a lot of manual work on this one. Um, so four, five, six, seven. So it'd be a three on the other side. Uh, what am I doing? Just go here and go bottom. So you'd have three on here. push that back Ooh. Uh, yeah so now it's starting to look a bit more like a dice as you can see um, so yeah we have one three four and six uh, we need to do Two, so two would be like this. Was it 0 0.08? Yeah, it was 0 0.08, so that's fine. 0 0.8, 0 0.8 there as well. There's probably a thing with. Uh, <coughs> there's probably a thing with where you are supposed to space these, but I'm just doing it this way for tutorial purposes. So we've got one, two, three, four, just need five, because five, six, seven makes five plus two equals seven. Um, yeah, so we do five on this one, so that'd be one, 0 0.08 meters. Let's see if I can drag them out to the right size. Put them all back. We'll push them all back. 0 0.04, 0 0.04, 0 0.04, 0 0.04, and 0 0.04. Okay, so you can see here we have created a massive dice. Um, you can go in here, you can hide the guides, and you can see it looks pretty good. Um, quite spaced out, I suppose, but that's fine. It doesn't matter too much. Um, it's a fully working dice. <clears throat> in the future we'll probably uh, show you how to curve the edges a little bit so it's a bit less square so it's a bit more rounded like a normal dice you would see um, but for this one um, that is that is uh, what you'll learn. Um, so yeah don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe 
Um, let me know in the comments section what you think of the dice and if you've been following along uh, how yours has gone, send me pictures on on, uh, on Twitter and things. Um, yeah, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.